Hey guys, the Tao Taku here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be upgrading my Lenovo Legion 5 after 5 months of use to 16GB of RAM in dual channel. As you guys know, if you haven't watched the laptop setup upgrade video, I have an 8GB stick of RAM. Only one stick of RAM installed that came from factory, so I figured to myself, I decided to YOLO myself and bought a new RAM because single channel RAM is not gonna cut it for me. If you're doing the RAM upgrade like I did here, follow along with me or you probably don't have to if you already done so. Before you purchase the RAM for your Legion 5, you have to buy a stick of RAM that matches the exact specifications of your existing RAM just to avoid compatibility problems or potential issues. Or if you're going for a safe route, you need to buy a kit of DDR4 sodium RAM which must be DDR4-3200 on AMD model. But still, what matters the most is cast latency. After you've done a whole lot of research and bought the RAM, time to get to work. Important step before proceeding with the upgrade is disconnecting the power source and disabling the internal battery. Like sync pads with sealed battery, there is an option to disable the internal battery in the BIOS. All you do is to turn the machine on, spam F2, click on more options, and choose configuration. Go down there until you see disable building in battery, nice grammar, options, which means it's to disable the internal battery temporarily for maintenance purposes. Choose that option and hit yes, and your laptop will shut down and won't power on until you plug the power cable in to re-enable the internal battery. To make sure it's actually disabled, press the power button to verify. Once you disable the internal battery in the BIOS, you can start working. To open up the Legion 5 or 5i, all you do is to undo all 11 Phillips head screws. And those 4 screws below are short, while the other 7 screws are long. Don't mix it up or your case will be damaged once you put it back together. In this case, I already figured out which screws that would go since I already opened it up to clean the fans from the dust plus the hard drive upgrade. If you have Legion 5i, this process is identical. Once you undo all of the screws, you have to grab a plastic tool like the spudger, guitar pick, or anything plastic tool like a plastic knife. <laughs> Just kidding. To undo the clips on the bottom panel, you have to take time, be gentle, and don't rush the step. One random note while I tried to gently open it up, I was too excited to install the RAM on this laptop, hence why my hands are quite shaky. Once you're done opening the machine up, you now have access to pretty much everything. But where is the RAM? People thought, Is the RAM on the Legion 5 soldered? The answer is no. There is a metal shield that covers two RAM slots. If you haven't disabled the internal battery, you can unplug the battery to avoid chances of frying anything. Grab a thin plastic tool and gently pry the metal shield off. Again, be slow, be gentle. Also, I don't recommend using sharp tools to pry the metal shield off as you might ruin the motherboard by cutting the traces off by accident. Once the metal shield is off, you can now access two RAM slots. In this case, I have only one stick of 8GB Samsung DDR4-3200 RAM. Time to unpack the new RAM. I already unpacked my parcel earlier, so here it is. This is a Kingston Value RAM 8GB DDR4-3200 with same cast latency as my Samsung RAM. Both are CL22 by the way. Mixing different brand of RAM isn't an issue as long as they're the exact same specs, but mixing sticks of different spec RAM is an issue. Once you're done unpacking the new RAM, all you do is align the stick into the slot. There's one notch that was off-centered, so it only goes one way. Slide it into the slot in angle and push it in. And that's it. The RAM has been installed. Before you reassemble it, be sure to test it to make sure it posts by just plugging the power adapter in and the internal battery will be re-enabled if you have it still plugged in. Open the laptop very carefully, turn it on and spam F2 once it posts. Once you get to the Legion logo, go to the BIOS and then go to more options and you should see the total memory was different. 
which means the RAM upgrade is a success. Disconnect the power source and then optionally disable the internal battery again after, you, after you're done with the verification, which I didn't do that. Oops. Pop the metal shield back in and then plug the battery back in. Then pop the bottom cover into the place to make sure it was fully clipped in. I dust off the fans and bottom panel off camera before doing so. And then put the 11 screws back but make sure you don't mix those screws. 4 short ones on the bottom, 7 long ones on the middle and top. Again, this will damage the case if you put the screws in the wrong hole. Don't over tight those screws because chances are you will strip the screws. After you put the screws back in, boot the machine, open up CPU Z, and then click on memory tab to see if it's running in dual channel. And you did it! You successfully upgraded the RAM on your Legion 5 or 5i. That is going to be about it for the RAM upgrade video and this will be my first Legion 5 upgrade video done on camera and hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below on what I should improve in the future tutorial videos. Thank you all for watching and be sure to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on new videos like this. If you have supported me, check out my coffee page, link down below and I really appreciate it if you guys donated a price of coffee to me to keep this channel alive. And as always, stay safe. The Tao Taku signing out.